okay let's go to another part which is uh, managing events everything uh, as i mentioned before in hyperdvg uh, is event for example these ept hooks and these monitor hooks are both events and uh, we have a list of uh, events uh, if we want to see the list of active events or currently working events we can use the event command uh, and for example, uh, if we want to remove an EPT hook or monitor or other uh, events, how we can remove it, we can use this command event and uh, each of them is assigned with, a, with an event ID or event ID. You can see it's uh, event ID here. For example, this uh, event is assigned with two, four or five event IDs. After that, you can disable, enable or clear each event by using d e or c uh, parameters for disabling events uh, the thing is that everything is still applied and the events are still triggering in the cpu uh, level but the thing is that hyper dvg won't trigger events for it on its internal so the cpu is con continues to generate the event but hyper dvg won't perform its actions like pausing the debugger or running the scripts or running the custom ports uh, so if you don't want to use an event it's recommended uh, to uh, completely remove it or clear uh, the event but if you want to pass a d parameter aligned with the event id uh, you can uh, eventually re-enable the event later by using the e parameters the syntax is also simple you just put the event id and the after putting d as the second command and the event id and this way you can use it to perform just uh, disable the target event uh, another thing is that you can uh, later re-enable the event by using e parameter to the event command and after that the uh, command itself as you can see in this example the event is currently the event 4 is currently in a disabled state and the event itself is here but after that we uh, re-enable it and the debugger the hyper -DVG debugger tries to trigger event and perform the actions for this event again after enabling another thing is that uh, you can clear an event but will completely remove the event and the processor won't generate that event anymore but the uh, re removed event cannot be restored and uh, if you uh, the only way to restore them is that you should run uh, the command again so the uh, event is generated again but you cannot re-enable the removed command or clear command also if you want to uh, for example manage them together you can use uh, the all and pass all uh, as the event id it's also supported for example the following commands i want to disable all the events so i use event d all or if i want to just clear all the events i will use event c all this way uh, the events are uh, clear disabled or all of them are uh, these uh, action is applied to all of them 